Hey everybody, it's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. Hope everybody's been having a great week this week. Today we are learning about something a little more unique. You don't see them that often, but they look really, really pretty, especially swimming around in a school. Today we're learning all about the silver moony or monofish or even the moonfish. So they got a few different names out there. Prices on them, you can usually expect to spend about $40 to get a decent size one that's about three inches long. But if you do want a larger one, they will cost a little bit more, usually costing you about $80 if you want to get one that's in like the more of the six inch range. Tank size, I would recommend at least 120 gallon just because of their size as they get older. Especially if you do get a school of smaller ones, they will need plenty of room as they get bigger. Care level, I would say moderate. Most of that comes from their difficulty getting them to eat at the beginning. So make sure you're asking your LFS what they were feeding them. Or if you're buying them from online, make sure to have a good variety of food at your house. That way you can feed multiple different things to try to figure out what he likes. Temper, I would say semi-aggressive. They are a very, very active swimmer. To me, I kind of put them on the same scale as like a larger wrasse. Like a bird wrasse is a very active wrasse that can almost be a little dangerous towards your other peaceful fish as they swim constantly back and forth, kind of chaotic around the tank. That can be the silver moonies as well. It can be very intimidating to your other more peaceful fish. A lot of times they'll hide all the time just because this fish is swimming so crazily around the tank. We've also seen some bullying towards the newcomers in the tank because they can get very territorial as they are in the tank longer. So you definitely want to make sure to keep an eye out if you start to see that. A lot of people will actually add these last. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78. DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. Now, a cool thing about the water parameters is this fish is actually can even be a brackish fish. So they're found all over the world. Many of these mono fish are in total saltwater schooling around, but then you'll see them going into the streams where it starts to end up in lakes where there's a lot more brackish water in between. So it's really cool. A lot of people have actually gotten them to be in brackish water and slowly gotten them over to be in a full saltwater tank. Reef compatibility, yes, we never have issues with this fish in a coral tank. They never mess with any of the corals by picking on them or anything like that. So if you do want to put a school of them in your reef tank, they usually do really well. Colors is a big reason everybody wants them. It catches their eye. They have a very reflective, shiny silver body on them. That as they're swimming crazily around the tank, it'll definitely catch your eye. And along with the silver body, they have these bright yellow fins on the edge. So they are definitely eye catchers in the tank. Diet, so they are an omnivore. I'd recommend feeding them a variety of different meaty foods like brine, shrimp, mysa shrimp, spirulina. I've seen some of them even go after the algae on a clip whenever they feed their tanks. So they're kind of an overall eater. But you definitely want to make sure you do have some good meaty food in there for him to eat. A lot of times people will even get them on flakes and pellets. Origin, so most of the time these are coming from Australia. Compatibility, just ask. Like I said, they can be a little crazy around your more peaceful fish, and they can be bullies to newcomers, but overall they do good in a lot of different kinds of tanks. People will put them in predator tanks as they do get very large. They can get up to 10 inches long. So they are very big fish, and a lot of people won't mess with them as they are larger. Now they are a schooling fish, so you can get multiples of them in a tank. Usually try to get odd numbers. It usually works out best, you know, three, five, seven, and nine. But if you only want to get one, they also do well just by themselves in a tank. So you can kind of go either route. But I'm telling you, in a school, they look very pretty. They're kind of like chromies running around the tank together. That's it for what you would need to know to take care of these moony fish. They are a great one to have in the tank, especially if you're wanting a really nice very colorful schooling fish in your tank. It's a good one to have. Hope you all like this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you all later. Hey everybody, it's Brock and today's video is sponsored by Dream Team Forever. 
Make sure to check out our website as we just released the first ever All About Tees that feature 30 fish and inverts from the series. Click the link in the description to get some for you and your family.